by the margin of the ocean. One pleasant evening in the month of June, the feathered warbling blackbirds so sweetly sang their song in tune. It was their I spied a all overcome with grief and woe, conversing with young pony part concerning the bonny bunch of roses. So then up spoke young Napoleon and took his mother's hand. Oh, mother dear, be patient, and I soon will take command. I will raise a terrible army, and through tremendous dangers go. And in spite of all the universe, I will conquer the bunny bunch of roses. So, when first you met great bony part, you fell upon your bended knee. And asked your father's life of him, which he did grant most manfully. It was then he took an army, and over the frozen Alps did go. He said, I'll conquer Moscow and come back for the bunny bunch of roses. So he took three hundred thousand men and kings likewise to join his throng. He was so well provided, enough to sweep the world along. But when he came to Moscow, all overcome with driving snow, all Moscow was a blaze, and, and he lost the bunny bunch of roses. So, oh, son, be not so venturesome, for England is the heart of old. And England, Scotland, Ireland, their unity shall ne'er be broke. So something on your father. In St. Helene, his body lies low, and you will soon follow after, so beware of the bunny bunch of roses. So, adieu, mother, forever. For now I'm on my dying bed. 
Had I lived, I might have been clever. But now I bow my youthful hand. But while our bones do mold and weeping willows o'er us grow. The deeds of great Napoleon will sing the bonny bunch of roses so. Hares run free on the Wicklow mountains While geese fly and the foxes play Sporting boys of Wicklow County Are driving a tunnel through the London clay Up with the shield and jacket Ram it, drive a tunnel through the London clay a lock duck trout grow fat and lazy Salmon sport in Kushla Bay Fishermen of Connemara They're driving the tunnel through the London clay Up with the shield and jacket Ram it! Drive a tunnel through the London clay Below our ma, wild ducks are breeding, wild fowl gather on Loch Ray. The sporting boys of Longford County, the drive in a tunnel through the London clay. Up with the shield and jacket, ram it, drive a tunnel through the London clay. The Kurakarot's on a hill island Tourists walk on the Newport Cay The Mayo boys are all gone roving They're driving a tunnel through the London clay Up with the shield and jacket Ram it! Drive a tunnel through the London clay the Carlo girls are fine and handsome, all decked out, so neat and gay. The Carlo boys don't come to court, and they're driving the tunnel through the London clay. Up with the shield and jacket, ram it, drive a tunnel through the London clay. Down in the dark of the tunnel, tigers, far from the sun and the light of day. Down in the land that the sea wants buried, they're driving a tunnel through the London clay. Up with the shield and jacket, ram it, drive a tunnel through the London clay. I am a Reuben Hillen man, a native of Bremer, and oft I've trod the bunny hills, I'm kent both near and far. In money alone live valley for Ken Jog Brewer's name. Now I'm bound across the ocean, far free my native him. It was at the back of Balatar, my gun into my hand. I quickly was surrounded by six keepers in a band. They thought they had me taken, but little did they know. Job Brewer, the roving healing man, would prove their overthrow. He necht I was trepanded by six keepers head in sand. They marched me after Aberdeen, my trial for to stand. Though none of my companions bore witness against me, the judge has condemned me to cross the Regency. 
there's a healthy home, comrades, jog brewer, when a name. Success and tea, all poachers, when they're in search of game. May they all be I at liberty to choose to fecht or flee. Or to join the roving healing man condemned to cross the sea. Here's a healthy home of comrades to poachers far and near. May ye get hair and pheasant and your share of bonny deer. May ye all be I at liberty with money at your command. Or to join the roving healing man bound for Van Diemen's land. Well, the bride were an instance foundry last the bridegroom was a moulder. He turned apart his wedding with his shovel at his shoulder. And she still had a red square on wrapped up around her head. And she never did wear a lily white gown. She wore overalls instead. Well, we didn't throw confetti and we didn't throw no rice. We threw nails and screws and moulders, tools and the workshop sold steel vice. She was give away by her old man, a retired foundry man. The best man, the charge and fitter, by the couple he did stand. The ring was then presented, but were dropped just like a shot. For he'd cast it at work that morning, and the iron was still red hot. Oh, well, we didn't throw confetti, and we didn't throw no rice. We threw nails and screws and moulders, tools in the workshop, sold steel pies. They held the wedding breakfast at a Cannon Street hotel. There was cider rum and chuddy gum and tatty crisps as well. There's a wedding cake made of moulding sand like full of nuts and screws. When they tried to cut it open, why the knife was bust in two? Well, we didn't throw confetti and we didn't throw no rice. We threw nails and screws and moulders, tools in the workshop, sold steel vice. Her dad drunk all the whiskey, her mam supped all the rum. The police, they heard the commotion, and they all come rolling in. Ten revelers was arrested, they were dumped in the town hall cell. Judge Peaker fined them thirty bob, plus a night in clink as well. Oh, well, we didn't throw confetti, and we didn't throw no rice. We threw nails and screws and moulders, tools in the workshops, all steel pies. Well, the do was then soon over, and the guests they did depart. While the newlyweds for their honeymoon, they made an early start. They packed the paper carrier, and the diesel train they took. For to visit a couple of workmates that lived in early nook. Oh, well, we didn't throw confetti, and we didn't throw no rice. We threw nails and screws and moulders, tools in the workshops, all steel pies. Well, that was just a few days ago, now the couple are back at work. He's back casting iron while she sweeps the foundry dirt. They're arguing and bickering all the old day through. Cripes, you ought to hear the language, the foundry air turns blue. Well, we didn't throw confetti and we didn't throw no rice. We threw nails and screws and moulders, tools and the workshops all steel buys. Concerning of three young men One night in January Against our laws contrary A poaching went straightway They did desire to ramble All in the trees and brambles a firing at the pheasants which brought the keepers near. The keepers dare not enter into the woods to venture, 
But outside in the center of them old bushes stood The poachers they was tired To leave they did desire At last young Parkins fired and spilled a keeper's blood All homewards they was making Nine pheasants they got taken Another keeper faced them They fired at him also He on the ground lay crying Just like someone a-dying With no assistance nigh him May God forgive that crime Then they were taken by speed For their inhuman deed Which made their hearts to bleed For their young tender years There never was before Three brothers condemned together Three brothers betrayed for poaching Found guilty as they were And to the judge they cried, Thus mercy don't deny us. Good Lord, have mercy on us for our young tender years. Our laws they are reproaching, Two of them were transported. And the other one hung as a token May God forgive that crime Ye lean or ang, lassie, ye lean or ang You've lain in some unk a bed and we some unk a man your rosy cheeks are turned so one, you're greener than the grass, lassie. Your coat is shorter by a span, yet deal an inch the less, lassie. Ye he lean orang, lassie, ye he lean orang. You've lain in some unk a bed, and we some unk a man. You've loot the pony o'er the dike, and he's been in the corn, lassie. For I the brogy suppertine, ye book the mare the morn, lassie. Ye he lean orang, lassie, ye he lean orang. You've lain in some unk a bed, and we some unk a man. Full lightly lap ye o'er the dike, and through the wood ye sang, lassie. But here ye know the foggy bike, up here ye've go a stang, lassie. Ye he lean orang, lassie, ye he lean orang. You've lain in some unk a bed, and we some unk a man. Come all you young fellas who carry your gun. I'd have you come on by the light of the sun. Young Jimmy was a foulin' and a foulin' all along. And he shot his own true love in the room of a swan. Then home come young Jimmy with his dog and his gun, crying, Uncle, dear Uncle, have you heard what i done? Cursed be that old gunsmith that made me old gun. For I've shot me on true love in the room of a swan. Then out come bold uncle with his locks hanging grey, crying, Jimmy, dear Jimmy, don't you run away. Don't you leave your own country till your trial come on. 
Oh, they never will hang you for shooting a swan. Mm, the trial, come on, pretty Polly did appear. Crying, Uncle, dear Uncle, let Jimmy go clear. For me apron was wrapped round me, and he took me for a swan. And his poor heart lay bleeding for Polly alone. There are girls in this country who know why he's a sad. To see pretty Polly now laid in her grave. You can take them by the hundred, put them all in a row. And me Polly out shone them like a fountain of snow. At Rygate there lived a farmer Whose daughter to market would go Not fearing that any would harm her For often she rode to and fro It fell on a time amongst many A store of spring oat she had sold And having received the penny In shillings and guineas and gold on her way back from the market and fearing some danger to find she sewed the gold up in a saddle which was with the leather well lined she rode on a little bit further and met a thief on the highway a gentleman robber well mounted who soon did oblige her to stay he took her old mare by the bridle a pistol he held to her breast Your money this moment delivered Or else you shall die, I protest This maiden was sorely affrighted And so was poor Dobie the steed When down off his back she alighted He quickly ran home with great speed This damsel he stripped nearly naked and gave us some sorrowful blows. Says, girl, you must patiently take it, I'll have both your money and clothes. He rolled her clothes up in a bundle and gave her his stallion to hold. The poor girl stood trembling and shaking as though she would perish with cold. The thief up his bundle was making and being rejoiced at his prize Says yourself I shall surely be taken as part of me baggage likewise He said I will soon recompense you For the loss of your clothes you'll be paid For as soon as I finish this bundle I'll show you a trick with the maid the girl holding fast to the bridle Was beginning to grow more afraid Says she, it's in vain to be idle I'll show you the trick of the maid Then upon the saddle she mounted Just as if she had been a young man As while on his money he counted Pray follow me, sir, if you can the robber, he flew in a passion, and chasing behind, he did curse. Says, damn me, I'll give you your clothes back and something to put in your purse. The maid, she says, you needn't bother. You may keep them kind, sir, if you please. He ran, but he couldn't get at her. His boots, they so hampered his knees. She left him there raving distracted, in truth very hard was his lot. She left him a parcel of farthings, five shillings was all that he got. 
She rode over hedges and ditches, got home just at twelve of the clock. Her father was sorely affrighted to see her come stripped to her smock. Oh, daughter, what's happened? Come tell me, and why have you tarried so long? She says some odd fortune befell me, but I have received no wrong. But joy put an end to their sorrow, for in the portmanteau was found in a bundle a great sum of money, in all about eight hundred pounds. Now all you young maids who go riding, whose life is in danger and worse, be sure that you're always well mounted and you'll never lack a full purse. There was a sister and a brother, the sun gives tea under the wood, warm east entirely loved each other, good gift we had never been sent. O oh, sister, we'll gang to the broom, the sun gives tea under the wood, Oh, sister, I would lay thee down. Good gift we had never been sent. Brother, alas, would ye de see the sun gisty under the wood? As sooner would my death gang tea. Good gift we had never been sent. Ah, oh, the folk they talk through weather, the sun gives tea under the wood, that the lassies we bear to her brother, good gift we had never been sent. Oh, brother, ye he done me ill, the sun gives tea under the wood, and we will be born on yon hill. Good if we had never been sent. Yell gang to my feeder stable, the sun gives tea under the wood, and tack two horses to and Good gift we had never been sent. She's up on the white horse, he's on the black. The sun gives tea under the wood. We as you three bow slung fast his back. Good gift we had never been sent. They had ne ridden a mile but yen. The sun gives tea under the wood, ere her time it did come on. Good gift we had never been sent. I would give all my feathers land. The sun gives tea under the wood. For a good midwife at my command, good gift we had never been sent. Yell gang to yon hill say hi, the sun gives tea under the wood, and tack your bow and arrows we. Good gift we had never been sent. And when you hear my lood lood cry, the sun gives tea under the wood, you'll lose your arrow and let me lie. Good gift we had never been sent. 
When he heard her little cry, the sun gist he under the wood, he bent his bow and let her lie. Good if we had never been sin. When he come to her beside, the sun gist he under the wood, the babe was born, the lady did. Good gift we had never been some. Then he's teen up his young, young son. The son gives tea under the wood and born him to a milk woman. Good gift we had never been some. He's gin him sail a wind to sear. The sun gives tea under the wood. We'll never ride to the broom ne mare. Good gift we had never been some. Oh, mother, ah, he tent my knife. The sun gives the under the wood. I loot it better than my life. Good if we had never been some. And I he tend a better thing. The sun gives the under the wood. The bony sheath. My knife was in. Good gift we had never been sim. Is there no a cutler in the five? The sun gives tea under the wood that could make to thee a better knife. Good gift we had never been sim. There is no a cutler in all the land. The sun gives tea under the wood that could mark sick a knife at my command. Good gift we had never been sent. I am a daring highwayman, my name is Tyna Harrow. I come of poor but honest folks, nighty the hills o' Yarrow. Forget no, I meet with child for England, I sailed over. I left my parents and became a wild and daring rover. Straight to London I did go, where I became a soldier, resolved to fight Britannia's foes, no sergeant at arms was bolder. They sent me to a foreign land where cannons loud did rattle. Believe me, lads, I do not boast how I behaved in battle. Many's the battle I've been in, in Holland and French Flanders. I always fought with courage, keen led on by brave commanders. But a cruel ensign called me out, and I was flogged and carted. Cruel the usage they gave me, and so I soon deserted. Straight for England I set sail as fast as wind could heave me, resolved that of my liberty there should no man deprive me. I slept in tea the fields by night, by all my friends forsaken. 
I could not walk the road by day for fear I should be taken. Being of a courage keen and likewise able-bodied, I rob Lord Lowndes on the King's Highway with me pistols heavy loaded. I clapped my pistol to his breast, which set him all a quiver. Five hundred pounds in ready gold to me he did deliver. With part of my new store of gold I bought a famous gelding that could jump over a five-barred gate I bought him from Ned Fielding. Lord Darkinstone and to his coach I robbed near Covent Garden And two hours later that same night I robbed the Earl of Warren One night at Tarnum Green I robbed a revenue collector and what I took from him I gave to a widow to protect her. I always rob the rich and great, to rob the poor I scorned. But now in iron chains I'm bound in doom, I now lie born. For straight in Newgate I'm confined and by the law convicted To hang on Tyburn trees my fate at which I'm much affrighted Farewell my friends and countrymen and my native hills a yarrow Kind providence may test the soul of Valentine O'Hara. A rosebury to his lady said, My henny and my sucker. Oh, shall we do the thing ye can, or shall we hear your supper? We are riddle camera, we are falc camera, we are riddle camera, Andy. We modest face, if who a grace replied his bonny lady. My noble lord, do as you please, but supper is not ready. In Manchester City at the sign of the plough There lives a mole catcher and I can't tell you how singing La till I day, la till I little I la till I day He goes a mole catching from morning till night And a young fella comes there to play With his wife singing la till I day La till I little, I la till I day. Now the bull catcher, jealous of that very same thing, he hid in the wash house to watch him come in singing. La till I day, la till I little, I la till I day. And when that young fella leapt over the stile, it caused the mole catches a foxy to smile, singing, La till I day, La till I little, I la till I day. Oh, where is your husband, my pretty dear? He's gone, the mole catching, you need have no fear, singing, La till I day. La till I little, I la till I day. She's gone up the stairs to give him the sign, and the old mole catcher crept close up behind, singing, La till I day, la till I little, I la till I day. 
And when that young fella was in the midst of his frolics, the mole catcher trapped him quite fast by his jacket singing La till I day, La till I little I La till I day. Well, the mole catcher cheered and he laughed to his wife. Well, he's the biggest mole ever caught in my life, singing la till I day, la till I little I la till I day. But I'll make him pay well for the plough in me ground, and the money it'll cost him no less than ten pounds, singing la till I day, la till I little I la till I day. Well, said the young fella, the money I don't mind. It only works out to about tuppence a time. Singing la till I day, la till I little I la till I day. So come all you young fellas and mind what you're at. Don't you ever get caught in the mole catcher's trap singing La till I day, la till I little I la till I day. Oh, are ye my father or are ye my mother or are ye my brother John? Or are ye James Harris, mine true love to Scotland come again? I'm no your father, I'm no your mother, I'm no your brother John. But I am James Harris, your first true love to Scotland come again. Oh, see you know yon seven ships the eight brought me to land. Of merchandise and mariners and wealth on every hand. But now a merry tia carpenter earns his breed upon dry land. And I he born him my young son, and we you are when I gang. Oh, leave I pray your husband dear, and come awa wi me. I'll tak ye for the white lilies grow on the banks o Italy. Then she's gin and to her bonny young son and kissed beath cheek and chin. And sign to her husband sleep and soon done done the same with him. They had ni sailed a league, a league, a league, but barely three. When she minded her son and her bonny husband, and she grat me bitterly. Oh, had your tongue my sprightly flour, let o your greeting be. I'll tak ye for the blind fishes swim at the bottom o the sea. And I he grew and higher he grew and set all he seemed to be. Till the topmost top of that bony ship ne taller was than he. He struck the topmast with his horn and kicked the mainmast down. And he broke that bony ship in two, and all the folk were drowned.
While travelling the road at the close of the day, I come to an alehouse upon the highway. I opened the door and I called for a quart. But as for the reckoning, I gave it no thought, singing whack fall the day, whack fall the day. For all in me pockets was one penny. With a jug in me fist, I sat down by the fire. A right tidy fella in dashing attire. A prosperous travel and knowing no lack. But in truth, all I owned was the clothes on me back. Singing whack fall the day, whack fall the day. For all in me pockets was one penny. I seen two flash fellas a playing at dice. They both looked me over and thought me a prize. A North Country sheep who had strayed from the fold. A bump in his pockets was bursting with gold, singing whack fall the day, whack fall the day. For all in me pockets was one penny. They invited me kindly to join in the play. It depends on the stakes, gentlemen. I did say. The one said a guinea, but I said ten pounds. The stake it was fixed, but no money laid down. Singing whack fall the day, whack fall the day. For all in me pockets was one penny. I took up the dice and I gave it a spin. It was me good fortune that wager to win. But if things had been different, they both would have cursed. For all they'd have won had been me empty old purse singing whack fall the day, whack fall the day. For all in me pockets was one penny. I stayed there that night and was off the next day. For I thought it high time to be jogging away. I asked the landlady what there was to pay. She said, "Give us a kiss, love, and be on your way." Singing whack fall the day, whack fall the day. Ten pounds in me pocket and one penny. The tarty time is here again, the hawkers gather round. But didn't he kiss to the coast with Tom and Wally Brun? We maring dang day, maring dang day, we maring dang ma diggy day, ma dandy o. The tunesleys gan to collect their squad, their biding near Kinross. The diggers out upon the field and times too dear to loss. We maring dang day, maring dang day, we maring dang ma diggy day, ma dandy o. There's old Wally Tunesley living near Gateside. I'd advise you never to work to him, for ye would never be paid. We maring dang day, maring dang day, we maring dang ma diggy day, ma dandy o. There's old Mary Tunesley lifting in her stint. Her nose it gied a thrummel and she fell down in a faint. We maring dang day, maring dang day, we maring dang ma diggy day ma dandy o. There's old Wally Tunesley lifting a middle stint. The digger it gied too fast for him and he raced to yards his tent. We maring dang day, maring dang day, we maring dang ma diggy day ma dandy o. Now there's Johnny and Betsy left in it at Perth. Johnny slipped it in morning and his nose went up our ears. We maring dang day, maring dang day, we maring dang ma diggy day ma dandy. Now you'll easy ken the gaffer, for his name is Ron. He is the yin o with the leggings on. We maring dang day. Maring dang day, we maring dang ma diggy day ma dandy o. There's some of us day off a wheel like Ditton and Big Tom. There's others that they're in the dirt and he to push a pram. We maring dang day, maring dang day, we maring dang ma diggy day ma dandy o. 
There's some that may he caravans, but others they he nain. For them that spent it on drink, they pushed it down the drain. We maring dang day, maring dang day, we maring dang by the gate came a dandy. Oh, now the tatty time is come and gain, we're scattered far and wide. Some are turning to the north and to the Glasgow side. We maring dang day, maring dang day, we maring dang by the gate came a dandy. Now if you want another verse, compose it for yourself. For I'm no off a get at that, as ye can easy tell. We maring dang day, maring dang day, we maring dang ma diggy te ma dandy o. As I was a walking down by the Thames side. I spied a dead body washed away by the tide. Borne along on the river, it slowly drew near to the oily black water by Westminster Pier. Grey stubbled face with its halo of scum. Eyes blindly staring at the high noonday sun. They took him to Southwark to the mortuary there and hosed down his body and shaved off his hair. They noted his scars and distinguishing marks. They weighed him and measured him under mercury arcs. They laid him to rest on a bed of white tiles. His life story entered in the mortuary files. They tagged his belongings, his clothes and a ring, a pipe, some tobacco and a small piece of string, a pension book bearing the name Thomas Black, an old-fashioned timepiece inscribed on the back for 50 years' service, devotion supreme. From grateful employers, this token of esteem. A good, quiet worker, not given to strife, who never once questioned the boss in his life. They gave him a watch when they bade him goodbye. So that he could measure his life slipping by. It ticked through the empty days loud in his ears. A bright death watch beetle undermining the years. Then one act of protest, one moment of strife. They called it a crime when he took his own life. Now this lump of grey silence has finished with time. He demanded so little and that was his crime.